today I used Rewind in my crease. Sorry, my lashes <laughs> drying. Um, Habit in my um, highlight. And then Betrayal and Voodoo on my lid. This is the Vice 2 palette from Urban Decay. Blush, I used the Rouge Bunny Rouge blush in Florida, Florida, Florida. Hulu, bra Hulu. <laughs> Hula bronzer. And then I used the Becca foundation. Ultimate Coverage Complexion Foundation. I didn't put my lipstick on yet. I just have the lip liner in Hot Red from NYX right now. But we have to do the Evil Queen again today. And I switched it up. I did some fake lashes. I did like a purple, like more um, fairy tale Evil Queen, I guess. With the purple and the red lip. A little bit more intense bronzer today. Today I wear my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. For my bronzer, I used Hoola for my contour and then um, just a little bit of this Radiance Bronzer, CC Radiance from It Cosmetics. I used the highlight a little bit stronger on my cheekbones. For my blush, I used the Hourglass Palette, New Blush Palette. I used the center color, which is um, Incandescent Electra. Then for my eye look, I use this Laura Mercier, what is this called? Laura Mercier Cream Eye Color in Rose Gold. And then I use the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I ended up using Soft Light and Mocha in my crease, and then Sunset and Sunrise on my lid. And I also use the Transforming Pearl on my inner corner. And then on top of my lid, on top of those two colors, I also use this ColourPop Shadow in Sequin. Pretty sure I'm going to be doing this eye look as a tutorial this week. Um, for my lips, oh actually also for my eyes, I use the It Cosmetics Liner in Black Brown. And for my lips, this is just like It Cosmetics Central, for my lips I used Love Story Vitality Lip Color from It Cosmetics. Looks like that. These are so moisturizing. I love them. And I also use the Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner. And here's what it looks like. And yeah, sock bun again. <laughs> Very bright, so I can't look at you. <laughs> um, but I'm on my way to an interview. I'm not gonna tell you what it, who it's for because I don't wanna jinx it. But it is for freelance work um, for a company, so we shall see. Um, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be quitting any other job, though, because it's very part-time, I believe. So it's just like another opportunity. I am squinching. I need my sunglasses. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I'm on my way to that right now. And I have my very Audrey earrings on today from Joel Mint. And I also have my very Audrey ring on. And I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, so I'm home already in like scrubby clothes. I'm slouching because I'm laying back. Um, the interview went really, really, really well. Um, we ended up talking for two hours and it was very like casual but also to the point, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm really, really excited for the future and the possibility of it working out. If it does happen, though, I'm probably going to have to leave Sephora. So that will be really, really hard for me to do. And I think they might even be mad. <laughs> because, yeah, it won't be easy for me to do that because I have stability with them. But this may be a really good opportunity for me to grow. By the way, do you see the lip color now, how it looks like it's different? It looks like more pink now. This is how It Cosmetics lipsticks um, fade. So even though the lipstick is not really on anymore, um, it stains your lips. And like the pH, whatever your pH is, it will be darker or lighter. But that's what it stains my lips, and I think that's so cool. So you never really don't have lipstick on, but if you want it to be the true color of the lipstick, then you have to reapply. But I even just like the stain. 
I haven't eaten all day and it's three o'clock. I just had, she got me coffee, which was really, really nice. Um, at the interview, we like met at Starbucks and she bought me coffee. So I did have a tall pumpkin spice latte hot with 1% milk with no whip <laughs> so far today, but I really need to eat something. I'm just so excited and nervous at the same time. <sighs> okay, just wanted to update you. So I got some goodies in the mail. I'm actually going to start with the package over here. Look at this adorable card. Um, Lynn, who's a subscriber of mine, sent me this really sweet package of two of the Asuki Stackhouse series. So she sent me books six and seven that she had on hand because she's read all the books. Um, she loaned these to me. So thank you so much, Lynn. I did download Audible for the first time this week, and I started listening to book two because I have read I've read book one in the past. Um, so I'm reading book two now on Audible, so it'll probably be a little hot second before I get to these two, but I'm happy to have them, so thank you so much, Lynn. Then I got some stickers from this company on Etsy, Scribble Prints Co. Scribble Prints Co., there we go, this one here. Scribbleprintsco.etsy.com. And they have a ton of cute stickers and things to decorate your Erin Condren planner or any planner that you have. These are all little stickers so I can mark when I work out. And I really have been liking tracking that. Chapstick also sent me some really cool goodies. These are their new Total Hydration line of bombs. I was sent three of those, um, these three here. There is a Sweet Peach. A minty one, I believe. It's Soothing Oasis, but I'm thinking it's probably mint. And then a lemon. And these are 3-in-1 lip care. They have omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids. And they're supposed to moisturize, renew, and transform your lips. So I'm really excited to try these. And they're only sold at Target, apparently. Right there, you see that on the bottom there? I'm going to try this peachy one today and tell you how I like it. And there's also these new Hydration Lock lip balms really cool idea. So there's an anti-aging one, which is this blue one, and then a 24-hour care one. So the 24-hour care one, there's a side for day and a side for night. The day has SPF 12 in it, and it's just super conditioning. And then the night is more of a soothing balm, and it's supposed to have um, essential oils and antioxidant that will will really rejuvenate your lips overnight and I think it has like a specific like chamomile or something kind of soothing in it they gave me some information so let me check that out mango to soften oh no, that's the other one yeah chamomile scent and then the other one that's in this kind of blue tube this one here has one side for moisture and one side for renew. This side has more of a revitalizing, thicker, natural butters on this one. And this one's supposed to be younger looking lips. Um, so yeah, I'm, I will try these out. If I like them or they become my favorites, I will definitely speak to them on my channel. Probably even if I don't like them, I'll speak about them on my channel so you guys will know. But I'm definitely going to try this one first because I love me some peachy bombs. So, And I like the big size of it too. Alright, I'm about, I probably heard that beep. It's because I was heating some lunch. So I'm about to eat my very late lunch. It's 3.30 now. Today I'm wearing the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. I'm also wearing Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC and NC20. Um, I use the two powders here to set my makeup from the contour palette, Anastasia contour palette. Highlight today is Cover Effects, and this is in Moonlight. I use this blush. It looks really bright in camera, but it's not that bright. It's just a really blue-toned pink from Tarina Tarantino, and it's called Carved Rose. Hula Bronzer. Then for my eye look, I used this Tarte Cream Shadow in Rich Brown. On top of my lid, I used this Urban Decay shadow. It's a little messy. This is one of my favorite shadows in Diamond Dog. And then I also used Cork from MAC, which is like absolutely pathetic. I think I might just have to get rid of this because it's starting to hurt my brush it brushes, you know, because I have to dig around the sides. So that might be put in my empties. 
For my lip today, I'm using a Revlon lip butter, which I haven't worn in a hot second, and it's called Sweet Tart. Oh, and I'm also wearing this liner from Tarte and Onyx. Last night I washed my hair and I just left it naturally curly today. Um, and yep, this is what it looks like. Oh, my um, brows are Tarte Brow Mist. And then I just used my mascara combo that I've been using for a while now. These three mascaras, Marc Jacobs, MAC, and they are real. <laughs> That's it. So I'm curling my hair while watching some YouTube videos catching up. This is Twilight Chick 143 Steen. And I'm um, curling my hair with my Lustrum set from Numi, which has like five or six different is that barrels. Yeah. Um, and then, so the one I'm using is a skinnier one. I think it's only like a fourth or a half of an inch. So don't mind, I have no makeup on yet, but this is what it looks like. I had my hair natural curly, um, so that's why I did the curls a little bit tighter than normal because my hair was already curly. Um, I just twisted it on the sides. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. I need to do my, I'm gonna do a tutorial today, hopefully. So, yep. Mama B and I are at Payway. Hello. Oh, you want some uh hi? Hi. <laughs> we'll yeah. vlog more later. Oh, she's happy. We're having shrimp lo mein. I told him I'm thought, sorry I, I don't look so good today because I was painting my friend's room. Yeah, she was helping her yeah. friend paint. Decorate. I love to decorate. She's going to come with me. I have a second interview today, right, Mom? Mm. With, um, I can't say who. I haven't told them who the interview is with, but oh, I told them. You'll like it. Yeah, but we'll see. It's my second interview today. Mama B is going to come with me because it's an hour drive Yeah, <laughs> for my interview. But anyway, I'm going to have my yummies now. Hey guys, so I got new lamps today at Home Goods. We actually only stayed at Home Goods for like a couple minutes because my grandpa got in a car accident today. It's nothing major, just a fender bender, but um, Mama B had to drop me off and go um, help him. So anyways, we got these lamps. Really pretty. They're actually really nice and heavy too. And there's like silver little balls and crystal balls with a square base, silver base. So I got two of those. I think they're by Broyhill. It's really dark in here because I don't have the windows opened. <laughs> and then I have my, I need to take the stickers off these candles, but these two candle holders were from Home Goods too. I don't know if I showed you them last week, but I got them last week. So yeah, it's coming together a little more. I my Vitacost order came in today as well, but I'm gonna be doing a video like a haul video on this, so I'm not gonna really go over what's in here. Just thought I'd show you I got some like food and um, some uh, skincare items too. So here is the aftermath of filming a tutorial. I have some other things up here. Oh, I have to show you these chairs in a second. Anyways, more aftermath. Um, but I will show you my makeup. Hello in the mirror. <laughs> Do you guys like it? It's very sparkly. And it's supposed to be like a bombshell makeup look. And it's pretty much the same exact thing I wore on my birthday this past year. You guys wanted a tutorial, so that's what I did. Hey guys, I'm home now, as you might be able to see behind me. <laughs> Um, I didn't get to film after the interview, but I just want to tell you it really, really well. They loved me, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, they watched my YouTube and they thought I was also really creative and everything. And I won't get into the really details, but they're going to send me an offer letter tomorrow. So I'm going to look at it, see, you know, how that goes. And I still am not allowed to tell you who the company is. And I don't know if I will be able to ever. I know that kind of sucks. You'll probably be able to eventually guess by the product I show once in a while and stuff, you know. But um, I can't say their name right now. They're going to check on it for me and see if I'm able to mention it on my YouTube. If I even accept. So... At this point, I just wanted to tell you it went really well and that I will get an offer letter. And if I do end up accepting, I will obviously let you know. But it probably will either be in the very end of this vlog or next week. Um, tomorrow I work all day. So I don't know if I'll be really vlogging that much tomorrow. Maybe just my makeup. Um, I just wore 
this leopard top that you've seen me wear before. I already took off my jewelry, I should have showed you, but I wore a necklace that was gold, said my name, and just some little heart earrings and my heart ring. So here's the last look at my makeup before I take it off. But remember, I'm, I did, did I tell you? I did a tutorial on this look. So it'll be up, it'll already be up when this vlog um, goes up. So I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, me and Mama B, um, she drove me to the interview so that we could go in the HOV lane because it was an hour, like an hour and 20 minutes away. It was in Goodyear, um, very far from where I live here in Arizona. So we drove together because she's awesome. Like, I don't know what I would do without her, guys. Um, and she helps calm my nerves, too. So that was nice to have her there. And then she just waited for me. And then we had dinner together and I watched American Horror Stories. I will never learn. I will never learn, guys. I'm panicking, like literally all, can you tell, all the lights on are in my apartment right now. And I pretty much ran from my car to here. Because <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat, but I love watching scary things. I know, it's weird. Okay, see you guys later. Just did my nails for Halloween. These are the In Coco Nail Polish Applique in the color high voltage and they're like a bright neon green with these kind of like black triangles I think they look like witch nails aren't they fun definitely something I wouldn't wear normally but fun for Halloween okay today I'm wearing the it cosmetics bye bye redness as my foundation NARS creamy radiant concealer and vanilla smashbox highlight and shimmer and I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and then the middle blush here in the Ambient Blush Palette. On my eyes, I'm, I used Soft Brown in the crease for MAC and then Amber Rush L'Oreal Infallible all over my lid. I used the Kat Von D Liquid Liner and then I put this LA Splash Glitter on top. For my lip, I used the Too Faced Perfect Lip Liner and my new favorite right now, the Victoria's Secret Lipstick in Incognito. And here's what it looks like. Oh, on my brows today, I just did Benefit. My lashes are sticking. Um, Benefit, Gimme Brow, and just some brow powder from Sephora. Oh, I should close my eyes and show you. My cat eye today is not that great, but that's why I did the glitter. It's like my quick fix on if I don't want to spend an hour on my cat eye. Um, I still have to fix my hair and then I'm going to work. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly show you my kitty cat ears. I got these at Francesca's last year. I just thought I'd rock them today. Tomorrow's Halloween, I'm gonna do the full cat look, like with nose and whiskers, but I decided to just wear my little headband today. Happy Halloween! <laughs> I'm going to work, can you tell? With my little cat ears again today. This time I have some whiskers and a little nose. Ah, the whiskers aren't perfect, but how to get to work, so I'm probably already gonna be late. So, just got a little cat eye liner with some sparkle like yesterday. Did I show you yesterday? Pretty sure I did. And I have no lipstick on yet, just my NYX Red Hot, or Hot Red, lip liner. So I hope you guys have a or had a really good safe Halloween. I want to know if you dressed up at all. I'm not really, I was invited to parties this year, but I just wasn't feeling it. I was just not up for it. So, oh, it's bright. So I decided not to go to any party this year. I'm just going to hang out with the family tonight after work, watch scary movies and such. And we're also gonna do a Mama V recipe today, I think, me and my mom, so I will show you that later. I'm walking to work, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm wearing little spider earrings and my little kitty cat ring. Hey guys, we just went to Costco. We got candy for the kids tonight. Candy, candy, candy. <laughs> but I wanted to show this because one of you, I forget who it was, I'm sorry, but someone told me to get this five pack at Costco because I was talking about how this is my new favorite. So thank you. I'm gonna share with Mama Bee though. Hi honeybees, happy Halloween. Um, today at the Hive, we're gonna make Spanish tortilla. Now, I just want you to know, <laughs> Lucy's pointing to the camera. <laughs> I just want you to know 
that I've been getting all Melissa's feedback from all you guys telling us about how you like the recipes and how you're trying them and mixing them up and trying to do something different. So I encourage that. Today, again, we're gonna make tortillas. So here are some of the things that you need in order to make this. I'm gonna show them now. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potatoes. And with the potatoes, you gotta chop them lengthwise first. This is right. And then when you get them, because we're gonna make small pieces, okay? And I do them this way, but if you have a food processor and you can make them, the thing is, is you want to make them all about the same size because they'll all cook differently if you don't. Okay, so that's one thing. Then we also put what is called Spanish chorizo. Now, chorizo. Spanish chorizo is a sausage, a dried sausage that's been already cooked. And you can get them at places like online at La Tienda. John, where did you get this one? La Tienda. La Tienda. Whole Foods, yeah, Whole Foods, Whole Foods, has, Foods them. has it. And what I do is because it's already cooked, I don't want the hard part. So what I'm doing is scoring it, and I'm gonna take out or take off the skin that's in case, as you can see. It's, um, and I'm gonna do that all the way till all of it's off. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want the sausage to be hard when I cook it. And sometimes the encasing will keep it hard. So we don't want that. Okay? Now, if you don't have chorizo, you can use any type of hard sausage that you like. Um, I know some people use kibasa if you have it. Um, so when you have it, the skin off, then what we're going to do again is we're gonna do small slices of this because this is actually gonna be in the tortilla. It's really yummy. Now, I hate to tell you, I've made this without any sausage for you that are all, that are vegan and, and, vegetarian. and vegetarians. You don't want meat in it, you don't have to. It tastes just as good, but my family likes it. So when you make yeah. these little small circles, I make them even smaller and cut them into little bite-sized pizzas. And we're also gonna need eggs. Now, depending on how big your tortilla is gonna be, that's how many eggs you need. Typically for a big tortilla, I'll do about nine to 10 eggs. I know that sounds a lot, but if, but a lot of you, you'll see when I start flipping this in the air, you're gonna be like, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a smaller tortilla. Oh, this is so, too close to you, there we go. <laughs> I was real up in Come into my close-up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll show you later. We'll show you later. Hi, everyone. We're back. So, I have all the potatoes cut. I have the chorizo cut. And I have the 10 to 12 eggs all beaten with salt and pepper. And I have a non-stick pan with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I cracked the eggs. Okay. <laughs> now, so helpful. you can put one potato in there. As soon as it starts sizzling, you know it's ready. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, that might take a while. Okay, everybody, so as you can hear, it's sizzling. So we're gonna cook these until they kind of, you know, when they start getting together, you'll know when they're starting to cook. But the good part about this is you can taste them as you go. <laughs> I remember when I told you, see how they're getting sticky, like they're sticking together? Oh, yeah. That's how you know they're cooking. And like I said, you can always Taste it, and they're getting there. So while they're almost ready, since this is already cooked, the chorizo, I'm just gonna put it in now. Just so you know, it stains because it has paprika in it. Um, one of the- Paprika in it? Yeah, paprika. I didn't know that. Okay, we'll show you the next step in a second. So now we're cooking them all together. Guys, as you can see, as, as the chorizo starts cooking, like any type of sausage, it has oil. And I don't want it, so I'm taking it out. Now it's all ready, and I push the potatoes and everything to the middle of the pan. Remember, this is hard to flip, so if you want to do two separate ones, two smaller ones, you do. So then I pour the eggs evenly all over the tortilla. Yum. <laughs> this is like my favorite meal 
always. Now yeah. there's going to be some some oils, oil but it's not a big deal because then it gives, adds flavor. But as this is cooking, some people can't flip it, so they get a skillet pan and they put it in the oven to cook. Mm. If you can't flip. Now, as it's cooking, you're going to continue. And as you can see, I got to put this up a little because it's not doing much. Mm -hmm. um, as it's cooking, I'm pushing the eggs to the side, trying to get all the eggs in there. Um, so as it starts cooking, you know. Yeah, we'll show you when it starts cooking a little bit. Yeah, more. I'll show you some more when it starts cooking. Okay, everyone, cool. as you can see, the sides are really get cooked. The middle won't be as cooked, but put a huge plate that's going to cover the whole pan. Come on over, it's hard. Oh boy. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Flip. <sighs> slide. Damn, she's good. <laughs> cook the other side while it's cooking. Clean off all the egg from the wet side. We're doing a flip again oh my just God. to see how uh, things are going. I wasn't going to show Place you this. Place it. <laughs> Come on over, Melissa. Okay. Hurry up. It's okay, okay, okay. Flip. Voila. Needless to say, clumsy Melissa couldn't do that. That's not true. It's called, it's called practice. Well, it's all done. Now, I'm cutting it into like a pie. Okay, a little bit of haul stuff. Um, first, Costco, I got some LED dimmable lights for my new lamps over there. I got my toothpaste, which you guys already know about. I got a Mambo size of the PB2, which I was so excited to find at Costco. I think it was $7, and this is 16 ounces, so that's awesome deal. If you guys don't know what this is, it's powdered peanut butter, and it's way less calories, only 45 calories for two tablespoons. And it's pretty much, it's, I know it is, all natural. Then I found these for the first time, the Ready Snacks Carrots, Grapes, Cheese with Pretzels. And it's only 150 calories for each of these little packs. And I need convenience like this. There's the cheese over there. I need little convenient packs like this for work so that I can just grab them and go. So I thought this was awesome. And you get four packs. Um, I mean, I know I can do this myself, so I should really prep and do stuff like this, but it was nice to just see that in the store and grab it. And I got just two or just a pack of my um, Caprese salads that I love. They have different flavors as well. And the only reason I got one pack only is because they go bad really quickly. And I got some more of my quinoa and brown rice from Seeds of Change. I have been having these. Let me show you. I've been having these, the cooked brown rice. These are also, I found at Costco, they're 100% organic as well. But they have no flavor. You have to add seasoning and everything. So it's just, I mean, it's lazy, I know. But it's just easier for me to have something that's seasoned and ready to go so I can just, you know, grab some broccoli, vegetables, grab some of this, grab some protein and be good. Um, I also got a few things at Sephora that I've been wanting to get. My 30% holiday discount started today. So that's really, it's probably trouble. But all these things here were, I think it was $25 possibly. So first off, Sephora now has the palettes. They do have the smaller ones as well. But I decided to get one big palette. You know what, I didn't check to make sure that the little, oh they are. I just wanted to make sure the little metal things are in there. So I have some depotting to do and I'll be using that soon. And I just love that it has the Sephora pattern on it. I got one of these little bun dealy bobs um you put your hair through here roll it through and you know create a simple bun so i forget whose channel i saw this on but it was on one of the big youtubers channels she had it on her favorites recently and i was like hey i've seen that a million times at my store i need to try it and it was really inexpensive um and then bite beauty has a ton of these cute little stocking stuffers at the beauty to go area like right before you check out um, and I put these out today, and I was like, I've been wanting this little duo for a while. It's Retsina, which is a beautiful nude, and Musk, which is just like a mauvey pink. So I got this little duo, but they have a ton of other ones as well. I almost don't want to throw away the packaging. It's so cute. 
And I think that's it. Oh no, I have one other thing. This came in the mail today. It's from Vegan Cuts and it's their deluxe spa box. So I'll have to unbox this on my channel. It's like all natural vegan products. You can see in there a little bit like all spa kind of products. So I will do an unboxing of that soon.